You're welcome to um, Governor's um, press briefing on the monetary policy, December 2019. Um, Governor will give his um, statement, after which um, there will be a Q&A, a brief Q&A for Governor. And after that, um, we will have um, the, the, the remaining Q&A session will be chaired by um, the Executive Director of Research. Dr. Mugume. Um, and then after that, we'll have the Luganda version and uh, a brief Q&A. Uh, here is the monetary policy statement for December 2019. The Bank of Uganda has uh, this morning, in December 2019, monetary policy at the meeting meeting, decided to keep the central bank rate at 9%. The bank of Uganda high frequency indicator of economic activity, which is the composite index of economic activity, CIEA, points to a moderation of economic activity since the beginning of 2019. Moderation of domestic economic growth has been driven by both slowing global activity and domestic factor. Indeed, in the first 10 months of 2019, tourism receipts are estimated to have grown at a lower rate and merchandise exports, excluding gold and new exports, contracted, reflecting moderating external demand. On the domestic scene, moderation of demand conditions could also have contributed to the slowing of economic activity. Going forward, a combination of persistent global political tensions and uncertainty around policies, private investment spending could generate headwinds to economic growth. In addition, public sector financing, uh, public sector financing needs have risen amid this limited fiscal space, raising the prospect of further pressure on domestic borrowing costs. Overall, economic growth is projected to be in the range of 5.5% to 6% in 2019, and this pace is expected to be sustained into 2020, into 2020. This projection remains subject to downside risks, mainly, st mainly stemming from uncertainties in the global economy. Over the medium term, monetary and fiscal impetus is expected to support stronger GDP growth. As a result, private investment will increase, providing additional support to the economic growth outlook. The Consumer Price Index data for November 2019, which was released by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, indicates that inflation remains subdued. However, under headline inflation, 
rose to 3%. The increase in inflation was in part um, was in part driven by the highest so by the high, higher and energy fuel and utilities prices. Food crops inflation increased from minus 0.9% in October 2019 to 0% in November 2019. While uh, energy fuel and utilities inflation rose 7.4% in November 2019 from 5.1% in October 2019. A relatively stronger shilling and subdued domestic demand contributed to moderation of the increase in inflation. The inflation outlook remains unchanged from October 2019 forecast round. Annual core inflation is projected to remain below the 5% target until the fourth quarter of 2020. However, the risk to the inflation outlook in the near term, which is about 12 months ahead, are assessed to be largely on the upside due to unpredictable weather patterns. Food price inflation remains uncertain. A further upside risk to the inflation outlook is capital flow volatility, which could put pressure on the exchange rate. On the downside, demand pressures remain subdued. Nonetheless, inflation is forecast to converge to the target rate of 5% in the medium, medium term, which is over two to three years. Against this backdrop, the Bank of Uganda has decided to keep the CBR rate at 9%. The band on CBR will remain at plus or minus 3 percentage points and the margin on the rediscount rate and the bank rate will remain at 4 percent percentage points and 5 percentage points on the CBR respectively. Therefore, the rediscount rate and the bank rate remain at 13 percent and 14 percent respectively. At the current level of the CBR, the stance of monetary policy remains accommodative and supportive of general economic activity. The Monetary Policy Committee will continue to assess the balance of risks to domestic economic growth and inflation in order to ensure that monetary policy decisions remain consistent with price stability while being supportive of sustained non-inflation and economic growth over the medium term. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the monetary policy statement for December 2019. I thank you very much for listening to me.